Hey guys. Um, so I just learned about this feature where I can go live in my stories and I've seen other people like when they go live, their lives are in their stories. And when I go live, my lives aren't in my stories. So I found that I can go live through my stories. So we're going to see if this works. <laughs> if this doesn't post to my wall, then I'm not sure what to do about that. <laughs> we're just going to have to see it later. But hopefully this won't take too, uh, too long. Um, I just since I've joined this business and I've learned so much about skincare and how important it is, um, my skin kind of started changing throughout, um, like after me joining this business and it was able to like help me, um, really find what I needed and, um, just answer all the questions that I had. Otherwise I honestly, I wouldn't know where to start. So, um, if you're watching, say hi, um, let me know if you're seeing this through your Facebook feed or through your stories, because technically I went live in my stories, but I'm curious if I'm actually live on my Facebook feed if, or if y'all can see it on my feed. So please let me know. <laughs> um, so, when I, before I turned 30, I'll start there, um, I didn't wash my face at night. I, I wore makeup, I, you know, even then I was wearing makeup every single day, not a lot of makeup, but um, I was wearing makeup and, you know, we're going, I was going throughout the day, getting sweaty, we're in Texas, and um, I wasn't washing my face at night. I was taking, I, you know, I was taking my showers in the morning and washing my face then, and then as soon as I got out, and mind you, I was only washing my face once, and then I would get out and then put makeup right back on. So, um, that was my routine, and I always got compliments on my skin. They would say, you know, you've got the most beautiful, perfect porcelain skin. And they would ask me, what do you do? And I was like, I don't do anything. <laughs> I really do the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but that's the gift of youthful skin. So then I turned 30 and I blame it on turning 30 because, um, that's when I noticed all these, um, things changing. Like I would put on makeup and I would see these like really st starting to get harsh lines next to my eyes. I never wear sunglasses. I don't really ever wear sunscreen besides like the natural sunscreen that's in the products. Um, and yeah, I started seeing like thicker lines on my forehead and, you know, finer lines uh, next to my eyes, dark circles. Um, that I was just covering up with makeup. I would start breaking out when, you know, it was that time of the month. Um, and yeah, so I was just like, but I didn't, I wasn't changing my skincare. Like I had started using some of the products that we, um, offer, but I wasn't using them right. Um, or that's what, at least what I think anyways. And, um, yeah, so I wasn't using them right. I wasn't using them like the way my skin needed them to be used. And, um, so my skin wasn't changing and honestly it started getting worse. Um, so then I started like, I really dove into skincare and just really started thinking about like my problem areas and what products I needed to use to, um, combat those issues. But then Unique made it even easier and they came up with a customizable skincare line where I didn't have to pick and choose the products I was using just based on the issues that I was having um, I, and having to like buy more products because of, you know, the, just to combat one issue. So now we have a customizable skincare line. It comes with a cleanser, a serum, a night moisturizer, and a day moisturizer. And you get to pick three boosters that will help like combat those issues that you're having. Um, and most of them have five to six boosters that you can pick from. You can do it yourself. Or if you're like me and you're still learning, there's a quiz, a skincare quiz that you can take that will, um, 
to help you choose based on like how much sun exposure you have, how much exposure you you have to pollution, um, how much sleep you're getting at night, whether you have dry, oily combo or normal skin, um, based on like your most important issues that you have, like fine lines, wrinkles, redness, um, large pores, dryness if your skin is like too tight because it's too dry or um or if it's too dull because it's dry um and so all those things and you kind of rank them into the things that are most important to you and with all of those things even your age your sex everything it's going to customize it's going to build a skincare line that's meant for you and you can even change things out um like maybe if you don't agree or if you see a booster that you prefer over the other one um then you can kind of play with it from there but i always recommend if you're taking the quiz just do the results that um it gives you now on to that specifically i the when this uology line first came out um, I answered all the questions that like I had dry skin because I really did have dry skin and towards the end of the life of my products, I noticed my skin was now the opposite of dry and it had now changed because the products and boosters that I was picking were working almost too well. <laughs> so then I had to retake the quiz and this time I just answered them like I basically had normal skin with some of the other still issues like the fine lines, redness, um, things like that. Um, and so, yeah, so then it built me another skincare line that I, whenever I was ready to reorder my products. Um, and so, but every time what I'm saying is your skin's constantly changing. De depends on the weather outside, depends on where you live, how old you are, all these things. Um, and so whenever you, get ready to reorder, I always suggest going and retaking that quiz because it's going to, um, it might suggest different things based on your skin at that very moment. So um, I'm, I just really want to quickly go over all the customizable uh, Uology products. Hey guys, how are you? I've got Jenna, Rosa, Rebecca, how are y'all? Tiff, Isabel, um, thank y'all for hopping on. Um, I am going to be doing this every Monday at 8 p.m. Of course, you can watch the replay. Let me know if y'all are watching this on my story or um, in our news feed because I went live in my story, but I'm I'm curious if you're able to see this on my news feed because that, that will help me um, next Monday whenever I go live. So um, I just really quickly want to go over the different options that we have and how they can benefit you and your skin type. So um, first the routine whenever you're doing your skincare line. So I, I take my showers at night um, and I do my cleanser. Actually first, sorry, let's totally back up. Okay, I first remove my makeup with a makeup remover and you we've got cloths, we've got like liquid makeup removers, we've got different things. But first you wanna take off your makeup because if you're only washing your face once, that one time that you're washing your face is only taking off your makeup. If you wear makeup, so that's another thing. If you don't wear makeup, yeah, you really only need to wash your face once. But if you wear makeup, you want to wash your face twice because the first time you wash your face, you're taking off your makeup. And the second time you wash your face, you're actually cleaning your face. <laughs> so who knew? That's been like such a game changer for me. Um, so first I take off my makeup with our liquid makeup remover and then I actually wash my face with our cleanser. Depending on the day, I will put a mask on after that and wear the mask throughout my shower. So I, when I, I don't like doing things like that are going to get me messy outside of the shower. Like I don't, I don't, uh, wash my face outside of the shower and I don't do like doing masks because I just, you know, you get the water all the way down your hands and everything. So it's just a big mess. So I do everything that I can in the shower. That's going to be like where I have to like splash water. So, um, Depending on the day, I'm going to either exfoliate or I'm going to use our perfecting mask. Hey, Adriana. Um, and I leave it on through the remainder of my shower. And then when at the very end, I, that's when I'm going to rinse it off. Okay, then I get out of the shower and I use my toner. So 
Depends on the day of which toner I use. Now we have different toners. Before we only had one last year, starting this year. Now we've got four different toners. It depends on the scent. It really is just like what, um, what scent I want. And most of the time I'm picking the lavender, but we'll go over that later. Um, and then I apply my serum uh, and then a night moisturizer. So that sounds really long, but really all together, it only takes about five minutes. Um, and yes, it can be expensive when you're buying all of those things at once. Luckily for y'all this month, it's actually like 30% off. So it's a crazy good savings. Um, so if you are interested in these products, I suggest buying the bundle now because you're going to save a ton of money. I think it ends up being like $60 or you can join my team and get ec an extra 20% back and it'll be like a hundred dollar savings. Um, so there's that. Oh, and then in the morning, I have a microfiber cloth that I just spray with a toner and I wipe my face off. Like I said, I don't like getting like really wet and like splashy with water. So I keep it clean and I just spray a cloth with toner and then I wipe my face off because even though I washed my face the night before and you know, all I did was go to bed. I'm not washing my like bedding every night. We've got dogs sleeping in the bed. Like you've got skin cells still like getting or, you know, dying and peeling off and just being on your bed, uh, uh, pillowcase. And so you still want to technically wash your face in the morning, even though you wash your face at night. But what I do is I just wipe it off and then I apply our day moisturizer. Hey, Emily. Hey, Audra. So that is my skincare routine, um, but I really want to talk about like the products and why you should be using them, and but also the boosters that come with them. So first, like I said, I'm I'm in the shower and I take off my makeup with my makeup remover. The point of that is so you're because the first time you wash your face, it's actually removing the makeup. The second time you wash your face is actually when you're washing your face. You're getting like all cleaning out all your pores and everything. Um, so with our, um, cleanser, this one is, it's got five booster options, replenishment, oil control, exfoliating, pore diminishing, and hydrating. So all of those pretty much are, um, in my opinion, self-explanatory. Um, but yeah, so exfoliating, you're gonna just exfoliate some dead skin and it's a really very gentle exfoliator. I wouldn't recommend doing this and skipping like exfoliating you really want to exfoliate every probably three days um at very minimum once a week um so and we'll talk about that later and then we've got a replenishment booster that's um for any skin type and it just create or uh includes just really good vitamins and it just helps refresh your face um and then there's the oil control booster and the hydrating booster um, oh, and the pore diminishing booster. So you're going to pick the boosters or you can take the quiz and it'll suggest boosters for you. Um, and then, so I get out of the shower and then I use a toner. We've got four toner options at the moment. We've got our, um, just regular rose water toner, which is the um, original option. And y'all know ro rose water has so many different benefits, but toners in general are just gonna help calm down your skin. You know, after you just took a shower, washed your face, scrubbed it maybe with an exfoliator, like your face can sometimes get really inflamed. If it's really red, if you take a really hot shower, um, it's just gonna help cool it down, reduce the redness. It also helps balance pH levels in your skin. So if you have really dry skin or really oily skin, it's going to help normalize those. Um, and just the rose scent of it is just a really good aromatherapy um, option. But we also have lavender, cucumber, and grapefruit, which all smell amazing. My personal favorite is the lavender for night and the grapefruit in the morning. Um, my husband's favorite right now is the cucumber and they all have different benefits. Um, but just toners in general, they're going to um, just really help calm down and reduce the redness that you might have. Um, the grapefruit specifically also helps for acne and um, yeah, so, so many different benefits. We can talk about that for hours. 
So after I apply my toner, then I apply the serum and my personal boosters are firming, brightening, and glow. But we also have line minimizing, elasticity, wrinkle reducing, um, and that's it. There's six boosters. Oh, and firming. Um, so the glow booster uh, uses lactic acid and it helps refine your skin and light reflecting particles for an overall glowing appearance. Um, and it contains bearberry extract and vitamin C. So, um, super good vitamins and things. If you have really dull skin, that's a good option. Firming booster, just if you've got fine lines, wrinkles, if you feel like your skin is, sometimes when your skin is too oily, it can feel just like really loose. Um, so that firming booster is really good for that. And, um, that one contains herbal extracts. So, and proteins. So, um, to help really firm your skin wrinkle reducing. So that's going to be those more like thicker, um, <laughs> Luna found a toy. Um, yeah, so it's going to significantly reduce the appearance of things like crow's feet and wrinkles like under your eyes or on your forehead. Um, that includes specifically selected peptides and plant extracts. Then there's a line minimizing booster. Um, so that's going to be more for fine lines. And then there's the brightening booster that contains vitamin C and licorice extract. Um, and lastly, there's the elasticity booster. So it's going to, it has, it says with the power to improve any skincare regimen, this elasticity booster includes select seaweed and extra seaweed extracts and the vitamin A um, derivative retinol palmative for more refined skin. Very big words. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm now used my serum. Then I'm going to use uh, my night cream. So this is at night. We're using this as an example as night. Um, so the boosters for this one is calming, which is going to be really good if you have sensitive skin. There's some people I know that as soon as they apply anything to their face, it turns red. So that's a really good option if you have really sensitive skin that, you know, anything that comes in contact with it, like kind of, um, or, or disrupts it. So that's a good one. Hydrating, honestly, hydrating is good for any skin type, even if you have oily skin. Um, that's something that you can, you know, you want to hydrate your skin just by drinking water, of course, but, um, just using this hydrating booster is a good, uh, option just like to seep in from the exterior. Elasticity is again, if you've got like dry skin and it's, you know, it's just too tight. You feel like your skin's really tight after you wash your face. Replenishment. You're doing all these things that's kind of taking out some of the um, uh, things that your skin needs. So putting them back in is really important. Puffiness reducing. So this, especially if you've got under eye puffiness, that's a really good booster to put in that. And then time correcting is just another good option if you've got fine lines or wrinkles. Um, I really still like that one just to prevent those things. Okay, so then my daytime includes a toner, like I said, just to wipe my face off, and then a day moisturizer. These um, boosters include oil control, self-explanatory, hydrating, we've talked about that, environmental shield. This is a really good one if you're outside a lot, um, you know, in the elements, um, even sitting in front of a computer screen, or if you're on your phone a lot, those are different environmental um, things that your skin is coming in contact with that we want to shield that from. Pore diminishing is self-explanatory. Tinting is an option if you have an uneven skin tone or if maybe you don't wear a lot of makeup so you want to, or you still want something to put um, under to even out your skin tone. So that's a good option if you want to add a tint. <clears throat> okay. I mentioned uh, very vaguely or quickly masks and I do masks at least twice a week. So it depends on the day and kind of what my skin needs. But um, the first one is our, what are you doing Luna? Our perfecting mask, which used to, or is our charcoal and bamboo mask. 
Um, this one is always everybody's favorite. You put it on with like slightly wet skin um, and it'll like bubble and like the charcoal reacts with the water that's on your skin and then the bamboo and tea tree extract is going to be cleaning out your pores as it's bubbling. Um, and then it also kills, hey Michelle, Michelle, tell me if you're watching this on my, like in stories or on my Facebook feed, because I'm really curious. I went live in my stories, but I'm curious if it's on my Facebook feed. Um, yeah, so that mask is going to be bubbling. It's going to be cleaning out your pores and the tea tree is going to be killing any bacteria that it's pulling out, but also just reintroducing clean oxygen back into your skin. So my face always feels super clean after I use that mask. Um, let me just make sure. Yeah, any skin type is, you know, that one's good for any skin type. Then we have our hydrating mask, which is at, awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, this is a brand new mask that came out this month. It was available uh, during our Black Friday stuff just exclusively, but um, this one's going to be super good again for any skin type. Um, of course, it's going to be good for <coughs> um, dry skin, but even oily skin, you need to help hydrate it. If y'all didn't know, when your skin is oily, um, it's because it feels like it's not getting enough. Um, I'm happy you could catch me too. Thank you. Um, it's because it feels like it's like it's having to overcompensate for um, any like dryness that your skin has. So I, I'm not explaining that well, but you still have to hydrate your skin to make it feel like it's not as dry as it is, which is going to help produce less oil. Okay, hopefully that made more sense. Um, so let's think. Let's talk about this mask. Uh, blah blah. It has a tropical scent. It's going to combat dryness. Um, it's got skin conditioning ingredients. And you'll put it on for 10 minutes for a splash of hydration. Or you can keep it on overnight for even more moisture. So, <laughs> yes. That, that mask actually came out like a year and a half ago. And only to presenters but there was like some for there was something about the formula they needed to change so we've just been patiently and impatiently waiting for this mask to come back out um but yeah if you've right now especially with the weather changing so much like all of our skin is really freaking out because it's not sure like is it too dry is it too oily or you know then some people are getting dry patches if you're like up north where it's really cold and snowy and windy uh, windy I'm sure your skin is like really taking a beating and needs some hydration. So um, you can even just like put it in certain areas, maybe where you have dry patches, like you don't have to use it all over your face. It really is like totally up to you and how you want to use it. But that's an amazing mask. The next one is our oil control mask, which I've purchased, but I haven't used it yet. I felt like during the summer, my skin was oily. But I heard from someone it works really, really well. And I was scared that it was going to work too well and then dry my skin back out. So I bought it, but I never used it. Um, so obviously oil control, it's going to help reduce the oil in your skin. Um, and it's going to also help reduce large pores. So I um, have large pores here, just like around my nose. Um, so I could probably just put it there. It also improves clarity and tone and reduces imperfections. So again, if you've got large pores, if you've got really oily skin, the oil is going to clog the pores and then cause pimples. So all those things are going to like work together whenever you're reducing it um, to help prevent breakouts. Um, it also helps mattify your skin. So I know a lot of people with oily skin, they're always looking for products that are going to really help reduce the shine. So this product is really going to help with that uh, and just leaves your skin looking really healthy and totally under control. <laughs> um, all right, next up is our exfoliating mask, which is one of my personal favorites. Actually, I left in the shower. That's one of the ones that I leave in the shower because I like to apply it after I've washed my face and then just leave it on throughout the whole shower. I feel like whenever I was rinsing it off right away, 
um, my skin was really dry and kind of irritated because I'm just like really scrubbing really hard and then taking it off. And then my skin's like, what did you just do to me? <laughs> so whenever I leave it on throughout my shower, um, hey Angie, hey Travis, um, then it's got also different moisturizers in it that's going to help calm down my skin before I actually rinse it off and my skin feels so smooth when it, after I do it. I always want to do it every single day but it's not recommended to exfoliate your face every day because then your skin is constantly creating new skin cells and it can cause it actually to be get really oily. So um, the exfoliating mask uh, reduces dullness and um, let's see, it's a textured facial mask that helps reveal glowing, vibrant looking skin using a special blend of propri proprietary ingredients that combine um, to reduce the appearance of pores and sloth, 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 slosh, <laughs> sloth away dull skin that dampen your glow. So I love that mask personally. Okay, last up is our brightening mask, which is one of my favorites. It smells amazing. It's gold and it peels off without like peeling off layers of your skin. But yeah, it smells like oranges. It's so amazing. Have y'all ever been to Jamba Juice? Like every Jamba Juice smells the same and that's what this mask smells like. So every time I use this mask, I'm like, I'm like in Jamba Juice right now. I love Jamba Juice. Okay. So this one is super cool because it's, um, it, really makes your skin soft. Obviously it's taking off like that really just exterior layer. Um, it's going to help pull off any like dead skin cells. Um, so that way it's leaving like new skin underneath really new bright glowing skin. Um, so it's designed to visit visibly improve elasticity, minimize the appearance of pores and tone the appearance of your skin. So if you've got an uneven skin tone, if you've got like dark spots, anything like that, this mask is like perfect for you. Um, and it's formulated for vibrant young looking skin. Um, and it, it's got licorice extract in it. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's just so good for your skin, but it's not that crazy like black peel off mask where it's just like peeling off layers of your skin. So we have more skincare products, but those are all the products that I use. And like, that's really the basis of what you should be using. Obviously you're not gonna be using all of these masks. You wanna pick a mask that's meant for your skin type and like the issues that you're having. If y'all are having specific skin issues, message me, comment, however you wanna do it. I'm also posting this on YouTube when I'm done. so feel free to message me on there. Um, and I can help you build a skincare line that's going to help fix those issues. And you want to, especially with like fine lines, wrinkles, things like that, you really want to start focusing on those now because those take the longest to get rid of. It took me a year to get rid of, look, I don't have any lines next to my eyes anymore. I'm pretty sure I've got pictures showing y'all or like, so y'all can see my expression lines on my forehead are only if I'm like making the expression, but whenever I'm not, they're not there anymore. Like it's seriously such a game changer whenever you pick a skincare line that's meant for you. And, um, <laughs> Oscar's looking at me. Um, yeah, it's just, that's meant for you and it's customized and built for you and what you need. So I really love our skincare line. Take the quiz. I'll post a link to the quiz in the comments. Um, but that's really it y'all. That was a 30 minute live. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it for to go that long. Hopefully my next lives aren't going to be that long. I really want them to be rewatchable. So if you miss them, you're not like, Oh, 30 minutes. I don't have 30 minutes. So it's already been 30 minutes. <laughs> so, but this is an important one. I tried to get Josh to come on with me. Um, but he decided last minute he wanted to ride his bike, which is a good excuse to not go live with me. So, um, but that's it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for hopping on and watching. If you're watching the replay, I appreciate y'all. Um, again, all of these products are on sale this month, um, either with our collections or our kudos. So if y'all have any questions about those or if you want to take advantage of those, I would love to be able to help y'all pick um, the products that you need and um, 
But that's it. Now I'm rambling. Y'all have a good night. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching and for your continued support. Bye.